Well, I didn't even bother leaving the house until about 8.45 this morning. <laughs> and the reason for that um. is because it would be 9 o'clock before they start unloading. So I figured, you know what? If I don't have to leave, I ain't gonna leave. <laughs> Man. Not only that, but, uh, well, I got it sitting on my empty right now. But there's no parking here. But I was able to find a real quick short route to get here from the house. So it was only five miles. 954217. Not bad. I am on my clock because I didn't bother to shut it off. Doesn't matter. It's 87 degrees. It feels like about 107 because the humidity is so high right now. And I almost passed out trying to deal with the tarps. I do not know how I am going to survive this summer if it gets to the hundreds or even the 90s. With this humidity, I can't handle it. I really can't. Doesn't matter how much I drink, how much I eat, how much I do whatever, I cannot take this heat. I'm gonna have to like get a portable wearable air conditioner or something if they even make those. Cause this is just ridiculous. I mean, my shirt is supposed to be a light red, not a freaking soaking dark red. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. But I'm getting unloaded now, so we'll see what happens next. Well, I am now at Tamco in Dallas. Yeah. Home of more skinny docks. Awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty good at them now. Only problem about that is... My truck has developed a pretty bad oil leak. Ugh. It's bad enough that I smelled it when I came in. As you can see, my half fender is covered in oil, my steps are covered in oil, my gas tank is covered in oil. So is the ground underneath my truck and everything around it. Probably my brakes too. And bits of my trailer too. Oh. And there's a nice little puddle right there. So that's just wonderful. Ugh. Uh, I wonder what they're gonna say about it. I am actually, right now, 954341, I am within 2,000 miles of my next service and I haven't even gotten an appointment time for that yet, so I'm gonna send Randy a message about that real quick and see if he can schedule me. And... <sighs> I don't think I can run it like that. I mean, I checked the oil and it's still up there where it should be, but if it's dripping like that, it ain't gonna last. <laughs> That's a little ridiculous of a drip. And there was nothing there when I checked the truck this morning. Nothing on the ground, and the hoses and everything looked all right. There was a little bit of a coating of oil, but I kind of expect that, really. It's the same way it's looked at all the other all, all, all the other times I've checked this truck, so I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. But now it is definitely out of the ordinary. <laughs> so we're gonna get this load of shingles headed up to Topeka, Kansas. Kind of like that stuff right there, but yeah, we'll see what happens. See what they want me to do with that. We got that all fixed up. Monday the 23rd, I'm going in for service with this truck. So, exactly a week from now. Perfect. Also, in 
news of uh, that bridge I crossed in Ambridge, Pennsylvania a while back. I sent in the ticket with a contesting signature. So I contested the ticket basically and uh, they sent me a response back I got last weekend saying I have a scheduled court hearing uh, appearance for July 16th which is a Wednesday and uh, we'll go from there so I told him about that too and he told me well just let me know when that date comes closer and we'll get it all fixed up and taken care of so that's where that's going so I'm still currently down that 6800 because I had to send them a check for that 6800 with my not guilty verdict verdict or plea or I think it's a plea I sent in a not guilty plea and uh, you have to send in a check for the collateral amount so no matter what you do you're still out that 6800 so I sent in a cashier's check and so I've been down that 6800 since about a week after I got the ticket or citation or whatever you want to call the thing got the receipt got the notification got all that crap and we're just gonna find out what happens July 16th as far as that is concerned now I gotta give these guys a call and let them know what's going on with that and we'll take it from there and hope for the best <laughs> Now what did I say? 90s and 100s are going to kill me. Well, they're coming pretty freaking close. I'm sitting over here in this uh, repair yard in Grand Prairie, Texas. and I'm going to have to run the truck just to keep the AC on. I have no choice in the matter now. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to flip up and die. And obviously, I can't let that happen. God, I hate this heat! I want to go back to Washington. Washington was a hell of a lot nicer. Well, guy came out to look at my truck finally, and it has been determined. I'm not going anywhere with the truck in its current condition. So I have, of course, gotten ready for sleep because there's nothing more to do at this point I cannot leave because it's not oil that's leaking well engine oil I should say my transmission fluid lines have busted and that is why it is a sort of greenish tinge on the steps rather than the standard oily brownish red brown color yeah transmission fluid that's just fantastic because I thought it was a sealed unit like most ma manual transmissions that I've heard of are but no it isn't there's lines going to and from it and both of them have to be replaced and seeing as it's so late right now they can't do it today so I have to wait until the morning and they will take the lines off and have new ones made who knows how long this is going to take and then they will be put on tomorrow and I will be on my way but unfortunately that doesn't help me now so I'm just gonna go to bed and say f*** it and this is the end of the video along with a nice little